Today we're taking a look at some brand new Eternal Light cards and ads coming up right now. Check this. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Brad and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some brand new Eternal Light cards. So just before this video begins, make sure to leave a like on this video to show your support and let's see if we can hit 13 likes in this video. Also, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more videos from me on card games such as Eternal Light and art from me and stuff like that, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. So to begin today's video, we've got some brand new cards. I haven't done one of these in a few weeks now, probably about two weeks, but we've got some new cards to take a look at and we're going to begin now with Lava Snake. So Lava Snake is a fire type warrior card. Level 5 common, so it's a pretty basic fire type support card. And you guys may recognize this guy from one of the cards called Snake Pit, which came out quite a while back, which is a ability card. So this card is actually really sort of like basic but it has a really good ability the ability for this is when this warrior is sent to the afterlife add one lava snake from your deck to your hand then shuffle your deck so this card's really good for say if you want to like clear out your deck and find cards you need so obviously using three of these your deck putting them on the field destroying them you can sort of like clear out the lava snakes to help you get to the cards you really need and it is all around just a really good level five card in my opinion so it's got four damage and four defense and it's just a, a really good card Next we're on a warrior support card which is Fearless Tribesman, this is a level 10 soldier common uh, the artwork for this is pretty awesome, I like this, probably one of my favourite artworks, you see he's got his, uh, his bow on his back, he's got his uh, machete there, he's got some like leaves and stuff uh, so I like to represent the tribe sort of stuff in the, the forest and all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, the ability for this is, this warrior gains 20 damage, po damage points if this is the only warrior you control. So if you have this uh, tribesman out on the field and it's the only warrior you currently control, his damage goes up to 110, which is really good and it makes him sort of a pretty awesome uh, level 10 warrior to have straight away start at the start of your game. So that's pretty cool, that's Phyllis Tribesman and he's pretty awesome. Now we have an ability card. This is a awesome one. I tried to draw like sort of like a face like that because I wanted to do something like that with a card. And I came up with this one, which is Flaming Fists. This is a pretty awesome card. You got like the face, you got the, the little sparks of energy coming off with like the flames and stuff. Uh, this is a ability card common. Uh, the ability for this is select one fire type warrior you control. It gains 30 damage points until the end of your turn. So this is sort of like making your fire warriors stronger in a way. So this is a pretty kill cool, like quick effect ability card. And it's really good for sort of like boosting up your ability, uh, fire cards. So that's that's pretty awesome. And moving on to the last card for today. This is a pretty special card. And it is dedicated to one of my friends. Uh, my 200th sub, shall I say. And this is Kenzie the Dark Mage. So this is a fire type, level 15 rare. And the artwork for this is just insane. Like we've got a... Uh, we got the character there. Let's see if we can focus on that. Like, there we go. We got the the pumpkin there that's glowing because obviously it's being controlled at, by the like the mage powers. We have got all these like skeletons in the background that have come to life. We've got like all these like little bits of uh, like grass and stuff. We've got the moon in the background there. Well, it's actually the sun. It's like gone out and gone cold, so it's like a cold sun in a way. And yeah, that that's pretty much the the artwork for that. That's pretty amazing as well. So this is a fire type level 50 rare, and the ability for this is as long as this warrior remains in play, all destroyed warriors except mutations so mutations this doesn't uh work for uh return to the play's hands so as long as the uh, that mage is out on the field uh any warriors that you and your opponent control it works on your opponent as well so it's kind of like it so like a downside but you never know um uh, so basically having this out means that any warriors that destroyed aren't sent to the afterlife and they just return to your hand so with this card you can kind of keep your warriors in your hand at all times and make sure you don't like lose them so this is pretty cool 160 damage points 95 defense points really good card and uh, that is the last card for today so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video taking a look at even more cards from the future of eternal light i hope you guys like them other than that my name's been brad i'll see you guys in another video other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you next time Oh, 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 oh,